Eddie Gabor is back. Oh, oh, oh. Ten stop sports fans. Here's Eddie. All right, when do we hit bottom? So, Stuart, we think we're going to hit bottom sometime between June and September. And the reasoning behind that is we are on a crash course collision. The market is with a debt ceiling debate that's going to start heating up in the coming months that has the potential of having our debt downgraded, which I believe will cause panic like it did in 2011, as well as some of the worst economic data we have seen in this economic cycle is all going to be coming at the same time. And I think we're going to get that last flush out of capitulation that we have yet to really see, where you see a VIX really spike. And that setup kind of looks to Ju June, end of June to September, where we will start buying. You can call me a bull again, hopefully, at that point in time, and then setting ourselves up for a fourth quarter rally. Well, That's well, the setup that are, we think we have coming of, into the summer. Are some of your folks, uh, some of your investors who invest with you, are they getting a little nervous that they may have missed? the rally? I mean, if they don't buy anything, just buy treasuries till June, July, August, September, you know, they could miss out on a solid rally. I'll tell you, Stuart, in 25 years of doing this, I have, our clients have been the most happy they've been because of the timing. Look, even with where the NASDAQ is now, you would need a 30 plus percent return to get back to where it was when we started getting out in December of 2021. So it's really a, a part of when you got out, right? If you got out towards the high, you're still way ahead of the game. And to your point on treasuries, we are very bullish on treasuries. We bought treasuries yesterday. We bought treasuries last week. And if they take another big dip today because of the spike in rates, we'll probably buy more. You bought long-term treasuries, I think. And what would that be, 10-year, 30-year? What are you buying? Yeah, so anywhere from 10 year and out, we're overweight to 20 year. Okay. We've added 30 year yesterday because we certainly believe that the signal that the bond market is sending is a clear recession that we will have. And in traditional recessions, especially ones that could be as hard as this one, the long end of the curve will really go down. And I think okay. there's tremendous upside yeah, but, on, on bonds. But what you're doing is if you're investing in treasuries, long treasuries, you're not looking for the interest. You're looking for a capital gain. You're looking for the value of that bond. You're not going to hold it to maturity. You're going to buy and sell it looking for a capital gain. Last word to you. That's exactly right. And we use that with the ETFs. And then with our timing is right, we can take profits from that and go into the equity markets. And that's how you have to risk manage this time period. It's unprecedented. But I think patience is going to be huge for investors with some great opportunities uh, in the next six months. A brave man and a successful man, Eddie Gabor. Welcome back. Good to see you again. I know we'll see you again real soon. Eddie, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Stuart.